As a nation, Pakistan is a very hard-working nation. And hard work, I think, is the big, biggest part of success. Once we have taken an oath that we will serve these people, we will treat them, then I don't think we can go back on it. Doctors go into wars and serve uh, at the war front, so this is also another type of war front that they are working at. The job has not been easy. First of all, the investigational part was difficult, but then different sorts of and much better kits came into Pakistan, and that has made life easy, at least for us at Dao. Uh, uh, we had equipment, but we didn't have the kits for that equipment. And that has made the run-through of investigations much more rapid than we like we were doing 100 to 200 tests uh, initially, uh, but so now at the moment we are doing 1,000 plus at times. The other thing I must mention about uh, investigations is that originally the kits were not available at all in Pakistan. And in fact, we were the first uh, uh, institution who imported what are known as primers uh, from through a Korean firm, a South Korean firm, and developed our own testing system. We of course validated it, but that turned out to be perfectly good. So that's how we started. As far as uh, uh, treatment facilities are concerned, we obviously had to modify uh, both the hospital facilities and also the behavior of the medic both the medical and the paramedical staff, who even now, some of the staff are not happy working in, with COVID-19 patients. Although we provide them with all sorts of uh, uh, protective gear, but even then, they are not ready to go near the patients. We haven't had any instance of anybody losing their life, but obviously outside, uh, of Dao. We have had Dao alumni who have died and I most uh, often quoted example is of Dr. Furkan who used to work as a radiologist originally at the Karachi laboratories and then subsequently at the Karachi Institute of Heart Diseases. Uh, in the UK there have been a number of pa Pakistani doctors who have died uh, working with COVID patients. Uh, and the same is the case in the United States. But that is a part of the game. When you become a doctor, then you, uh, you have to expect all sorts of eventualities working in that field. We became doctors to treat patients. Uh, and I think that is the most motivating force that that is our prime uh, job, and that is to treat patients. It's not, it's regardless of whether they are uh, they belong to a pandemic or to any other. Greatest thing that I have seen is all of our the younger doctors performing. In fact, performing better than our more experienced colleagues, and I think that is commendable. Like they, were ready, they have been ready to work across all the specialities, not just sticking to saying that they will just work in medicine or they will work in infectious disease. They have done a good job and they have agreed to work across, across the hospital to treat COVID-19 patients. The first thing that you must remember uh, about doctors doctors who graduate out of Pakistan and especially doctors who graduate out of uh, colleges like the Da Medical College or the King Edward Medical College is that they are the best of the lot. 
because in the intermediate examinations they are absolutely at the top and obviously once you are there then you keep on performing and as you get trained as you get better and better training then you do better and better and I think that basis makes us first of all as far as knowledge is concerned very very good and then it is hard work and your uh, ability to do a lot of things not just to stick to one branch of medicine but to be able to diversify and uh, perform and I think that is why uh, the major reason that we do so well the other is that as a nation Pakistan is a very hard working nation and all of these people who go abroad have obviously had to work extra hard to do the exams <coughs> to get into the United Kingdom or to into the United States or any other country for that matter and the, uh, and hard work I think is the big biggest part of success until and unless you work very very hard you are not going to be whatever uh, knowledge you may have you are nev never going to do good I uh, belong to the world of surgery and to the world of endoscopic surgery and uh, there I think I have come across a lot of instances where patients have been referred to me who have been rejected by others and I have been able to treat them and treat them successfully. I think that has been the greatest point of satisfaction for me that I have been able to help out patients. Thank you.